Hi, Joe J. Alexander Roofing, Township Road 97, Macomb, Ohio. I'm here today performing a video inspection of the roof. I'm also going to take measurement for purpose of estimate. All right, I've already been up here, kind of looked around, got a good feel for what's going on with the roof. The main reason why I'm right here is we've, we've got a single ply, three tap shingle. These things are manufactured to last, you know, 20, 25 years. I think you're there or even further, so you've got quite a bit of life out of this roof. That's a good thing. Um, so more than anything, just time's caught up and then it's starting to get to the point where it needs to be replaced. I do want to talk about a couple specific details of these roofs. These skylights, I can see that there's been a lot of caulk applied to them. So you're probably going to know better than me what, what exactly is going on with them. You can fill me in on that. A, maybe maybe they weren't they weren't flashed that well. Or B, do you think you actually have a skylight leak? So I'll probably know what the price of the skylight is to replace them. I'm going to pull my measurements here. But I'm going to hope that we can just, you know, redo all the flashing around it. Maybe put a new flashing kit on it even. And then and, and then save the extra skylight. That's going to save you some money. This chimney over here, structurally, is in really good shape. I'm not crazy about what's going on with the flashing, though. That, that's fine. What we do, we come in. When, when, we, when we're dealing with masonry chimneys, we strip all the flashing off of them. We actually redo the primary and the secondary flashing, or the step and the counter flashing. Back here, I'm not crazy about how this is set up either. It's kind of rule of thumb, if you have a chimney, when the top side of it's 20, 20 inches or more, there has to be some kind of divergence that I'll put behind it. So what I want to do is I want to build a divergence saddle that's going to slope back towards the roof. That way we can control all this water, because right now, you just have all this water dumping. It's beating up your fascia and it's beating up your, your stone. So let's control the water back onto the roof, get it in your guttering system, get it away from your house. And the last thing that I, you know, it's kind of the unknown, the ventilation on this house. Obviously you have this inning shingle over ridge vent right here. That's good, we don't use this exact product, but it is ventilated well. I can see in your attic that you do have an open air right here. So what I'm wondering is, can we vent these out as well? You do have a log home, um, so either A, there might not be an air for you to ventilate, or B, you have a So you're gonna have to advise me on that, I'm not sure. If I can max out the ventilation, I will, but there's a very good chance I can't touch that. Same with this garage back here. What's going on inside? Can I vent out that ridge or not? Probably not. There's probably a reason why they didn't vent it the first place, but, you know, if we can do it, we will. Other than that, I'm going to bid you out to come in here, strip this thing down to the decking. We inspect all the wood. We inspect all the nails. Make sure your wood's nailed down good. All the flashing, like I spoke of, we're going to inspect all that. We replace any damage thing, or we pretty much replace anything that we can. And then I'm going to put you back together with a brand new roofing system. So, once again, Joe with J. Alexander Roofing, Township Road 97, Macomb, Ohio. I'll just give you a... One last good look at your roof. You're probably not up here that much. And that will pretty much do it. Thank you.